Yo, what is up, y'all? Oscar here with a new video. And this is going to be talking about the Commanders choking this game away to the Minnesota Vikings. 2017, the final score. Um, But before I get into that, I'd like to remind you all to hit that sub button. Hit that sub button, y'all. Y'all watch my videos. Y'all, you give me views, but you don't give me likes. You guys don't hit that sub button. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button, y'all. Um, also share this video with your friends and family if you're new to my video, if you're new to my channel, and if you like Washington Commander content or European soccer content, the World Cup is coming up. So if you all want me to cover a World Cup, let me know in the comments right now. But not talking about the World Cup right now, talking about the Commanders, man. Um, this was just a bad game. And to quote a guy that I can't stand, and a guy that I may I make fun of on on a daily basis, daily to weekly basis, Skip Bayless. We had him. We had him, y'all. We, we had the Vikings where we wanted them. We had him. But in typical Scott Turner and typical Taylor Heineke, the fourth quarter is where they choked today. Usually, Taylor Heineke would throw an interception in the second quarter, would have a bad first half, would have a bad uh, third quarter. But to the commander's credit, they put a solid second quarter and third quarter to a decent enough fourth quarter defensively to the point where they choke it that was just bad um and here's the thing Justin Jefferson and, and TJ Hart they just they just felt doing what they, they Justin Jefferson had clutch catches um TJ Hawkinson um you know basically did whatever whatever he wanted to do um to the you know to this to this defense, but I give him props. This defense, the 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 front seven with key stops sometimes. Um, Benjamin Saint Juice, shout out to him. He was the basically the guy that stepped up today. Um, yes, he did have uh, that pi call that um, negated the pick six, but he made it up with the with a sack. Granted the the Vikings scored on that drive, but it just stung, man. This game just, it just stung because we had the win in the bag. Scott Turner's got to go. And I don't know how many times it's going to take um, for Ron Rivera. I don't know what's going to, what's it going to take to get Scott Turner fired. That interception was uncalled for. Yes, it was a bad pass by Taylor Heineke, but why are you throwing it? I think it was like what first and ten. I have to really look. I have to look back at the replays. Why would you throw it? You were running the ball well with Brian Robinson and Antonio Gibson. You were running it decently. You were on the move. All you needed was to run a little bit more clock. You could have gotten a field goal out of this. You could have gotten a field goal out of it. It was, this was just, man. Number one. Number two, Ron Rivera, your decision making on that challenge. It was, that was bad. It was clear cut that it was short and it cost you a timeout. Your decision making yet again costs the commanders. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Number three, number three, um, John Ridgeway, that, that was just, that was a man. Special teams, usually special teams is, is, you know, we, we, we get down there, kick a field goal. And that's what happened. We stopped the Vikings. The defense does its job on that drive, stops the Vikings on a, um, on a third down play, 
with 148 to go. And um, John Ridgeway basically blows up the center, blows up the long snapper or whatever. And it's a personal foul call on the commanders. The Vikings are just able to run down the clock to 20, to like, what, 15 seconds and get out of here with the win. They stole it. But then again, we also coughed it up with, with that. That that was a huge call. That was a bat. You know, John Ridgway just got to do better. Just got to do better. Um, first half, um, again, Scott, this, I'm going back to Scott Turner. You can't, you got to put a full game together. You just have to. You have to put a full game together. And that was just 48 yards of total offense before that 49 yard pass play that what the the officials helped out the commanders on that on that play because there was no way triple coverage and somehow Curtis Samuel gets away with it and gets a touchdown that was just incredible on Curtis Samuel's part and I'll talk about the I'll talk about the positives here in a few moments but you can't do this run you can't do this Scott you just can't you can't expect to only have Less than 50 yards of total offense through the first half and your team to win. You just can't. Um, so yeah, but let's talk about, um, let's talk about the the good, the good in this game. Um, Taylor Heineke, uh, uh, you know, that again, like I said, that 49 yard touchdown pass to uh, Curtis Samuel, the biggest play of the game that gave the commanders uh, that 10-7 lead in the third quarter. And then the pass to Dex Milne, um, 17, to, to give the commanders that 10-point lead at the, what was it? I think it was at the beginning of the fourth quarter. I, uh, yeah, it was the beginning of the fourth quarter. Beginning of the fourth quarter, 17-7. Um, to and it all went downhill from there. That was that was basically Antonio Gibson ran the ball well. Um, uh, Brian Robinson ran, ran the ball okay, I guess. Um, Terry McLaurin with a few you know few big catches. Uh, let me see. Um, oh, shout out to um, what's this guy's name? Armani Rogers, who just on a what was it third and one on the, the jet sweep you know just running for 24 yards getting that that first down um you know to keep that drive alive i think that, that was the touchdown drive that got us to, to 17 to 7 so get you know that worked but then uh, and let's go back to a little bit of the bad here what was ron rivera and scott turner thinking they were pitching it taylor heineke's like jet sweep and then like he just throws it away trying to pitch it or something and Ron Rivera looked at Scott Turner and was like we're never doing that again number one number two fourth and one fourth and one on the Viking 38 yard line why did you why why was it that a passing play instead of a run play yes you got stopped on third and one but you could have come up with a better third fourth and one call but you didn't man ron rivera and scott turner they just they they cost us another one man let me see what other what other good things did i see out there um uh monta sweat uh like i said the front seven stepped up today they basically they all they shut down dalvin dalvin cook for most for most of the game by the way, and I'm going to shout out my guy, Aaron Faxon. Dude, where was your guy, Alexander Madison, today? Oh, that's right. Wasn't there. And he was talking about Alexander Madison's going to run all over that defense. I'm like, dude, Alexander Madison is only relevant when Delvin Cook ain't playing. And to a certain extent, and yes, we gave up a touchdown to Delvin Cook. Um, we, we gave up a big play to give up, a, you know, maybe one or two, three, three that I count, maybe three that I missed 
But I saw two plays that we gave up to Delvin Cook. It was basically TJ Hawkinson, who this team couldn't, you know, cover for for, for nothing. And Justin Jefferson, who um, you know, ran wild uh, ran wild as well. And this is what I told Aaron. I was like, Justin Jefferson is gonna go up. And he was like, and his and Aaron does a does a better uh Aaron impression. Um he was like, nah. Calvin Cook is going to run all over this defense. I'm like, no, dude, Justin Jefferson's going to, you know, is going to have a, a big game. He's like, no, it's going to be Alexander Madison. Just watch, watch. I'm like, I watched, and I didn't see Alexander Madison mentioned once in that game. I guess Aaron has, you know, we both have our moments. Um, But yeah, this, this thing's, and, and we got to, Go to and Washington got to go to Philly next Monday night against the undefeated Eagles. This was a game that Washington should have won, had in the bag, had it, and lost it due to play calling and Taylor Heineke just being a roller coaster ride. Um, five and four was within the grasp and was taken away. Washington is going to go four and six next week, y'all. They're not going to the playoffs. This this magic run is over. It's it's over. It's done. And it may be a combination. It's it's not just going to be all on Taylor Heineke, but it's going to be on on Ron Rivera and Scott Turner. And I know that the ownership is going through. Hope I, I don't know, Matt. Um. Hopefully the ownership situation gets squared away at some point in the next few months. May you know if it does, the new ownership, Ronald's gotta go, Scott's gotta go, everyone's gotta go. Jack Del Rio wasn't the biggest downfall today, wasn't the big disappointment. The defense did its job, but the offense got in the way. But um Yep. I guess that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all. Like I said at the beginning, y'all watch my content. Make sure you hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Share this video. But until then, guys, long week ahead. I may do a live stream discussing Ron Rivera's presser tomorrow. Discussing downfalls and things like that. But, yep. Alrighty, y'all. Keep it real. See you guys next time. Peace.